the last thing I'm going to show you for this lesson is the print capture. Now I showed you the capture up here, but there's also a really cool smart capture in your print function. And I love this. Let's say that you have a worksheet that you want to show the kids. And I know I used to try to recreate the worksheet on my smart, but I don't have to do that anymore. I'm going to click for the PDF, and let's say that I want to print this onto the Smart Capture. So what I do is I go to my Print button, and you'll notice the name of my printer shows up, but if I go to this arrow and go down to Smart Notebook Print Capture, and I can even choose the pages that I want, like if I just want to do the current page, I can do the current page, or if I wanted to do all of them, I can do all of them. I'm just going to do all of them just to show you what it looks like, and then I can press OK. Now, what usually happens is, well, I guess it did in this case too, I mean, it usually what happens is it will come up as a new, it'll have a new document come up like this, but usually it's blank. No big deal. But I'm going to go to our Itsy Bitsy Spider and notice that now I have the actual poem with all of the words on there if I wanted it. Now I could actually, if I wanted to, capture these words so I wouldn't have to make new words. I could capture this poem if I wanted to just make it smarter, smaller. I could possibly, because you'll notice that when I did the print capture, I'm going to go back to the spider. When I did this, got a smart print, I could actually, let's see, current view, could make it like that and say OK. And then that way it looks different. I don't have to capture it. So there's lots of different things you can do. Of course, then now this one comes up where it looks like this. So I'd have to re. Whoops. I'd have to show you right down here or up here. I can re adjust it with the green to where it does this. To me the capture is easier if I wanted it to look like. But as you can see I have all of the documents on this smart board lesson if I needed them. Now I don't need these so I'm just going to delete the pages but if I wanted it, I could do that. So I have that functionality where if I needed to print a worksheet into SMART, I could do that. So that's the SMART print capture.